Hello everyone, this is Ambi. Today we will talk about Python 3.7 data types. The data types that we are going to talk about today is uh, integers. Uh, let's make it marked down. So title is going to be Python 3.7 data types integers. By the way, you can get this uh, at my git repository you will find that here in the video itself let me go ahead and um, put that uh, to here that is well I'll show you at the end uh, I'll put the resources here just let me get you there uh, github.com uh, all right I think it's uh, learning Python yep this is a repository where you'll find uh, all the notebooks that I'm gonna do so that you know it will be helpful for you okay double space enter here so I'm gonna put this okay so yeah, uh, one thing to note is there is no limit um, the size or length of integers uh, numbers, okay, in Python 3. Uh, 3.x, right? 3 means 3.x. Uh, it is limited by the capacity of your machine. When I say your machine, your machine's uh, uh, RAM, okay, so yeah, your machine's RAM, shift enter, okay, so let me define data, data equals 10, now type is data, it's an integer, A is 9, uh, type is data is an A, right? What if I do like this in single quotes? Type A, string. Uh, what if I do this? Mm, type is string. So, yep, A equals 9. Let's uh, keep it that way. Now, you want to do uh, convert it to a binary, right? We can do this. It converts it uh, to a binary so a binary representation of an integer output type is string okay as you can see it's in like my double quotes however if you do this right output type is not string so how do you convert it into um, let's say an octagonal you just say OCT 9 int to octagonal right it prints out the octagonal value then hexadecimal value of an integer is int to hexadecimal yeah So let's make a small table here. Uh, okay, prefix. I'm gonna say okay. I'm gonna put one more. Hmm. Here I will say prefix and then say syntax. So I'm gonna teach you <laughs> a bit of markdown as well. Representation translation. And yeah, base. Mm -hmm. And enter. Um, have to do this. Oops. Mm hmm. I'm gonna just copy paste this here. Come to see. 
paste. One, two, three, four, we got four columns. Four columns are created this way. If I do shift enter, okay, so I gotta put some data first. Let me do this. I'm going to create four columns first, okay. And here it says zero B R zero uppercase B. So you append anything uh, in Python in a console. If you append anything to zero A or zero B, uh, that makes it into a, like you know binary. So I would say binary. And the syntax is this. Uh, okay, binary two. My uh, hmm. It says prefix. Let me copy paste from my notes rather. Okay, interesting. Let me do this. Yeah, okay. Yeah, now it's fine. It should be fine now. Okay, so prefix, syntax, representation, translation, and base. Uh, you want to mm, convert an integer to binary, uh, binary representation or binary translation, or octagonal translation, uh, representation, hexagonal representation, you can do this way. So it's um, zero, it, it will always be zero, but it can be a lowercase b for binary or uppercase b, lowercase or uppercase o for octagonal and lowercase x or uppercase x for hexadecimal. Yeah, so it's uh, 2, 8, 16. Oh, anyway, so that's for uh, if you're doing a lot of data science or mathematics or something, then probably it will be useful for you, not for me. So yeah, uh, let's move on, type 9. Uh, if you're just looking for like a purely a web developer or automation expert or something like that, right, you absolutely <laughs> won't need this. So, type then uh, all I will do is I will do this yeah so 0 0 11 right type 0 0 11 uppercase same thing now let me type type uh, 0 x 9 yeah uh, let's say type 0 uppercase x 9 it's an integer uh, so I mean you, you know what I'm talking about right so you can also do basic mathematics inside a Python console 2 into 2 is 4 uh, 2 into 6 is 12 2 plus 2 is 4 uh, 9 minus 7 is 2 23 divided by 6 is 3.83. Let's say 9 percentage 2. That is reminder, right? Then can you do this? Uh, mathematics between two different data types. No, you can't because this is an integer, this is a string. We will cover string later. So let me put some resources here. Uh, let me make it as markdown. Markdown is then, yeah, you can go here. And I have a bonus for you, right? That is. It gives so you do this twice it's gone yep so that's all I had for integers did I do integer yeah yeah integers right so thank you for tuning in have a great one